Hello. This is our song. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Jesus, take this heart of mine. Make it pure and holy thine. Thou hast bled and died for me. I will henceforth live for thee. Amen. Good morning. We know that God loves people. God loves different people. For example, God loves white people. God loves black people. God loves deaf people. God loves hearing people. God loves different people in the world. I have experienced going to Europe. I remember before I went, someone told me that the manager in a restaurant can look at the people who are eating there and they'll know which ones are American. I was like, what? I was curious. And when I went, I saw, ah, here in America, we usually eat with our right hand. If we are not left-handed. If you're left-handed, you'll eat with your left hand. Yes. But many are right-handed. And if the food is hard, you scrape it, you pick a piece of uh, pick up a piece of bread and you hold it. And you scoop it up. But in Europe it's different. They all eat left-handed. No matter if you're right-handed or, or left-handed. They all eat with their left hand. And if the food is stubborn, they pick up the knife and hold it and scoop the fork into it. I saw it and I was like, ah. So I copied them. So I was the same. And I remember when I came home, I was eating with the deaf. And one sitting, sitting across from me said he himself was left-handed. And he knew that I was a right-handed person. And he noticed me practicing the European way. Billy, you're using your left hand. Why? And I explained to him, because of Europe, uh, their customs. Anyway, God loves all people, no matter who they are, no matter what their culture is. Yes, culture can vary from country to country, and even from state to state. I am from the South, and I've visited the North, and, and most of the things are the same, except maybe people in the North talk faster. In the South, they're more slow. I remember one deaf woman, she was a very good, had very good speech, and one interpreter heard her, and she's like, you, have a southern drawl or southern dialect. Anyway, in fact, the fact is God loves all people, all different people. In the Old Testament, Moses taught we must not discriminate against people. says when you judge you must not think that one person is more important than another person you must
must judge every person the same. And King Solomon, in one of his proverbs, mean, that means wise sayings, said judges must be fair to people in court. A judge must be fair. He must not support a person simply because he knows him. Oh, I know you. That makes me think of a story I heard about a boy who went swimming in a lake and suddenly he couldn't swim. He had a cramp. And he started to drown. And one man drove, driving by saw him. And he stopped his car and ran. With full clothes on, and he jumped into the lake and pulled the boy out and saved his life. Several years later, that boy grew up to be a, a criminal. He was caught and brought to court. And when he went in, into the court, he saw the judge and he was shocked. That's the man who saved his life. The judge recognized him. He was like, they, they saw each other. And what did the judge say? In the past, I was your savior. Now, I am your judge. Wow. In the New Testament, the Pharisees and Herodians knew Jesus' character, but still tried to trick him. Pharisees sent some men to Jesus to trick him. They sent some of their own followers and some men from the group called Herodians. That means a group of Jews who supported the king, like King Herod. These men said, Teacher, we know that you are an honest man. We know that you teach the truth about God's way. You are not afraid of what other people think about you. All men are the same to you. So, tell us what you think. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar? Yes or no? And you notice the first thing is that, that they were trying to trick Jesus. They were trying to make him feel good. And then they set their trap. But Jesus wasn't dumb. Jesus knew. It says Jesus knew that these men were trying to trick him. So he said, Jesus said, you hypocrites. Why are you trying to trick me? Why are you trying to catch me saying something wrong? Show me a coin that's used for paying the tax. They brought a coin. 
Here's the coin. The men show Jesus a silver coin. Then Jesus asked, whose picture is on the coin? And whose name is written on the coin? The men answered, it is Caesar's picture and Caesar's name. Then Jesus said to them, give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and give to God the things that are God's. Those men heard what Jesus said, and they were amazed. They left him and went away. Wow. Wow, Jesus really stuck up the Pharisees and Her Herodians with his answer. They were shocked. But Jesus knew these men were really hypocrites. We sign it hypocrite like this. It means that the real face is behind the other. The front one is a mask, a false smile. And behind it, they're angry. It's a hypocrite. These men were trying to butter up Jesus so they could lead him into the trap they planned for him. But oddly, what they said about Jesus was true. said Jesus was an honest man and Jesus taught the truth about God's way and Jesus was not afraid about what other people thought about him and all men were the same to Jesus that's what the Herodians thought or what they said about Jesus and it was true it's odd to say When you are in Christ, what happens? It says, in, now in Christ, there is no difference between Jew and Greek. There is no difference, or, or Greeks or non-Jews. There is no difference between slaves and free people. There is no difference between male and female. You are all the same in Christ Jesus. Christ, we shouldn't think some people are more important than others. Some people they worship movie stars. They're not more important than anyone else. My dear brothers and sisters, you are believers in our glorious Lord, Jesus Christ. So don't think that some people are more important than other people.
suppose a person comes into your group, meaning to worship service. This person is wearing very nice clothes and a gold ring and sparkling. At the same time, a poor person comes in wearing old, dirty clothes. You show special attention to the person wearing nice clothes. You say, sit here in this good seat. And you show them sitting, and sitting down. say to the poor person, stand there or sit on the floor by our feet. Wow, what are you doing? You are making some people more important than others. With evil thoughts, you are deciding which person is better. The rich, oh, Hi. the poor person you kind of put to the side. That's the wrong attitude. James, as we were talking about, well, you'll give an example of a rich man with fine clothes visiting a church, and then a poor man. And the ushers treated the rich man favorably, but not the poor man. They even said, sit by our feet on the floor. The church is unified with all the people, no matter what culture, no matter what gender, meaning what boy or girl, no matter what class. Some rich, some are poor, it doesn't matter, they're all the same. It doesn't matter if you're deaf or hearing, if you're white or black. All of you are children of God or Christians and members of God's family. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient and accept each other with love. You are joined together with peace through the Spirit. All of you who accept Christ have the Holy Spirit. So keep peace through the, through the Spirit. Do all you can to continue together in this way. Let peace hold you together. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the head of the church. The church is Jesus' body. The church is made up of many different people of different backgrounds, but they are all the same. Christ's cross draws people to him. Are you drawn to Christ? Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we 
to thank you for the verse John 3.16 which says for you loved the world so much that you gave your only son that any person who believes in him should not be lost but have life forever we thank you for that we thank you for loving people all over the world no matter their culture where they live what they practice or whatever we thank you for that we pray that you will help to remind us that we are not better than any other person no we ask that we will always be humble and gentle and loving to each other in peace we pray that you will help us to see that and not make trouble we, there's no need for trouble we pray that you will forgive us if we have time and our thoughts are wrong and put down other people please forgive us we thank you again for your love which never ends we pray this in Jesus name Amen we still love you and pray for you